Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for another review of the 2022 Department 56 Halloween Village uh, series. Uh, today we are going to be looking at one of my favorite pieces for 2022, also my favorite piece from 2021, also my favorite piece from 2020, all the way back to 2013. If you know anything about Department 56, you know anything about me, you probably realize that I'm talking about the 2022 Rest in Peace Crypt. This series has been going strong since 2013. I've got every crypt in the series. Um, I've only been collecting for about three years now. So you, I've spent a ton of time and effort and money to get all those crypts into my collection. I promise you, you will not be disappointed with a 2022 crypt and the accessory that coordinates with that crypt is Medusa. And so with that, let's take a jump right into this and get started with the review. All right, guys, so here you can see the box for the Rest in Peace 2022. This crypt, uh, honestly, you've got to see it in person for it to really do the justice uh, on this. But here it is, this crypt, is pretty daggone cool. It has got a red LED light that is on the inside. Now these usually will flash between an orange and a purple. This year you get just steady red, which I think is incredibly cool. You've got uh, the Medusa eyeball. You've got the, so if you know the story behind Medusa, she looks at you you're going to turn to stone. So it's appropriate that there's a big glowing eye on the top of this crypt, which is really incredibly cool. Then you've got a little porch light on the front, uh, and then you've got this scary jack-o'-lantern uh, at the bottom and this big crow. Look at the detail on this crypt. So right below the eye, you can see the 2022, which is a, every crypt has got a date on it, which is cool. Uh, look at the door handles. They're pretty cool. They've got snakes wrapped around the door handles, which is incredibly neat. Uh, you can see the, the broken parts of the crypt with the light shining through. A lot of green kind of, you know, looks like a, a moss or a uh, sort of, a, you know, uh, mold type growing on this crypt. But the detail on this crypt is incredible. It's really well done. Um, again, a little bit of hurried, you can see a little bit of glue in certain spots, at least on mine. It doesn't take away from it. It's just, obviously, you know, they're, they're handmade. So you're probably going to see that at some point, but not too bad. And then the back of the crib, the side of the crib, obviously the, the red light is shining through, uh, the brickwork is just really well done. This whole thing is just on point for everything I like about Department 56 and their Rest in Peace series. The detail on the spires going up is great. This little cross, like most crypts come off, it comes off so you can remove that for storage. Uh, you go on this side, just look at the, the detail and the paint coming down kind of the, again, the mold or the, uh, you know, just it's just really cool, uh, kind of growing on that roof and falling down with the rain. And you can tell it's just weathered and beat up. And it's got a, a posable tree, the wire type frame that, uh, that I like. So you can pose that or bend that in any shape that you want. Um, and so just a really well done piece. Uh, you kind of zoom down and see the crow there. Uh, just all the details on this crib uh, is what I love about this entire series. And then obviously you want the coordinating piece. And the coordinating piece is Medusa. So take a look at her. Now she, the crypt is all porcelain and Medusa is all resin. And so uh, she is just as detailed. I'm sorry for the camera work, but Man, if I could just focus on her face, there's a little bit better. She is scary, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty fascinatingly cool to me. Uh, just a very scary woman. She's got the snakes all in her hair. She's got this mean look, these piercing yellow looking eyes. 
got snakes wrapped around her dress. She's got snakes wrapped around her arm. She's carrying a big knife. Uh, so not to be messed with. Uh, she is not. If you turn her around, you can see the back of her. Uh, very well done. The detail uh, in the uh, in the snakes in her hair is just on point again. Just very, very, very well done. Crazy cool coordinating piece uh, for this crypt. Uh, and so if you're looking to put this into your collection this year, the crypt will set you back $125 and Medusa will set you back its $28. And so not the crazy price, about normal for what you would expect um, in this series this season. So hopefully uh, you're as excited about this set as I am. This is every year. I, this is the most uh, this piece is the one piece that I look forward to more than anything else, followed by Trick or Treat Lane. But very, very pleased with the crypt this year. Would not miss this uh, for anything. This will sell out, I almost guarantee it. Most of the crypts always do. They are limited to one year in production, and they're usually always retired the following year. So get it while the getting's good, or you'll be finding it on eBay for twice the price that it's listed on here now. So... Very, very cool. That's a closer look at the 2022 Rest in Peace and the coordinating piece of Medusa the Gorgon. Okay, well, hopefully that gives you a better in-depth look at the 2022 Rest in Peace. And hey, before I, before I do that, I just want to correct myself. I said, I think I said, I haven't watched this to, to edit it yet. I think I said the crypt's going to cost you $125. It's only going to cost you $120. So you just save five bucks if I said that. So $120 retail and then the Medusa piece is uh, $28 if you're interested in buying that piece. So, hey, I, I, can, I don't know if you can tell how absolutely excited I am about this piece. It is my, my favorite of the year. Usually always is, uh, and so just a great piece to have into your collection. It's going to go great in a graveyard scene with all your other crypts or, or what have you. So uh, if you want it, get it, because it, I'm pretty sure this will sell out. So, hey, as always, if you like the review, you like the video, click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. The channel has grown immensely. Uh, I'm very humbled by that. I certainly appreciate uh, all of the support that you've given me. Keep the questions and comments coming. I love them. I try to answer every single one uh, in somewhat of a timely manner, uh, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. So with that, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, we'll talk to you again real soon with another 2022 review.